Accountability when no one is looking. Accountability when no one is looking. I've said it in numerous videos and I will keep saying it again. What are you doing when no one is around? How disciplined are you going to be when no one is around and you get tested? Or when the cameras are off, when the Instagram photos are done, when the YouTube videos are done, how accountable are you staying to yourself? How disciplined are you staying to yourself? It was the holiday weekend. Everybody was out and about, had a chance to get out for a little bit and get to hang out. And everyone's offering Hey, we got marshmallows, we got s'mores, we got chocolate, we have this, we have that, which is all fine. Listen, go and go do your thing. I know what I'm not going to have. And I was just like, no, I'm just going to have the chicken, some boring, plain old chicken, a burger patty and some mustard on the side. And I'm good to go. And I'll take a Coke Zero to live to take a walk on the wild side. And everybody's going crazy. It's just one day. Come on. You don't have to always be like that. Come on. And I'm like, well, yeah, I do. Because. It's not about you, number one. It's about myself. It's being accountable to myself. It's being accountable to what I'm trying to get to. It's being disciplined enough to say, no, I'm not going to have this instant gratification, this instant pleasure, this quick pleasure, really, because I know where I want to go to. I know the next level that I need to go to for me. I don't care. Everyone was having s'mores and chocolate, and and that's fine. I don't say one word. I'm honestly the quietest person when it comes to that, because I don't say anything. Because if that's what you feel you want to do, you want to have that, enjoy, do your thing. I know what I need to do, and and I know what you guys need to do. And if I'm going to come on here and make these videos, I have to make sure I'm living by example when the camera's on and off. It doesn't serve any purpose for me to make these videos if the minute it's off, I'm going, I'm going to smash food behind the scenes. It doesn't make any sense. I can't speak this passionately if I'm not living it. So I'll say no. And everyone thinks, it's, come on, you make your, your big deal. It's too extreme. Absolutely, it's extreme. I want it to be extreme. I have to be extreme because what I'm trying to attain is extreme. And what you guys are trying to, to attain, it should be extreme too. The goal that you guys are having and the goal that you guys want, it needs to be extreme. It needs to be out of this world. It can't be normal because normal wasn't working. The normal way wasn't working. We've gotten to a, the normal way and we've gotten complacent. Let's go to the next level. And that's what I'm about. That's me and that's how I feel. I don't want you guys to be normal. I don't want any, if you're watching this video, I don't want you guys to be normal. I don't want to be normal. So yes, it's going to be ex- extreme. And when they say that, that honestly fuels me. When they say it's too much, it fuels me. You're absolutely right. Yeah, it is too much. And I'm going to handle it. And you guys can handle it too. So when they say it's too much, it's too this, too that, you're right. But I'm fine. You know what? It's my normal. What your extreme is, is my normal. And I like that. And I love that. And I thrive off of it. Because I know these are the necessary steps that it's going to take to get to the levels that we want to get to. And sure, I hear it all the time. It's too, come on, you can't be like this. I don't care. They say you should take a day off. And they said, you know, it's okay to have just every now and then. I don't care. Go to that video. Talk to that person then. What I'm doing is we're staying razor sharp all the time. Because that's letting the universe know that, okay, I can handle, this is nothing. I can handle it. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more of the positive. And even when something negative happens, I know I can handle it. And I'm showing you. I can give it to me. Give it to me. More. I want more. I want more. I want to be uncomfortable because I know I can handle it. I know I can stay razor sharp. Because if I can stay uncomfortable in these circumstances, I know when the fruits of that labor come and they're big, I can handle that too, and I won't lose it. I'm gonna tra- tra- cherish it even more. So give it, give it to me. And that's why, guys, I tell you, along with that staying disciplined, go work out, go get your exercise in. I don't care if it's 30 minutes, uh, an hour, an hour and a half, go get your workout in. Create that discipline also. All of these things are, what I'm telling you, is to create those disciplines in your day, in your life, that it can allow it to spill over into other parts of your life, staying on a program, you know, being uncomfortable, go to try that jujitsu class if you've been wanting to. And I'm getting so riled up about it because, you know, it's what I have to do every day. 
Because for so long, I was just trying to be okay or normal. I was just trying to be, well, at least he tried. I don't want to be that guy who at least he tried. I don't want you guys, I, I will never tell you guys to say, well, at least, you, at least you tried. I will never say that because I don't want you to be, well, at least you tried. No, go in, get, go, if you, ah. If it's at least that you tried, that means I don't have enough belief that you can do better. I believe that you can do more than at least you tried. You try and you failed, okay, you go back to the drawing board, figure out what you did wrong, you come back even harder. You try and you succeed. Okay, you try and you keep going. You try and you figure it out. It's not about at least you tried. You try is just whatever, that's just the beginning. You try and we're gonna keep it, keep it going. You try and we're gonna level up, we're gonna go more, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep focused. We keep figuring it out. We're going to ask questions. No, at least you tried. I'll never say that. I'm disrespecting you guys. And I'm disrespecting myself if I ever said, well, at least I tried. No, at least I try. I'm trying and I'm going to keep going. I'm doing now. Accountability when nobody's looking. Let's go.